right guys so I just got in my dash mini maker three pack it's a waffle griddle and grill non-stick 350 watts I got this um, I ordered this from Target came in a bigger box cute little box is perfect for gift giving double your warranty this is the waffle maker have the little booklet right here instruction manual recipe guide the recipe guides in the back pizza shuffle paleo waffles chocolate taco waffles I can't wait to start making some chaffles I have now I have three of them <coughs> I have three of the waffle ones that I got because when I'm making multiple meals or you know this only does one one chaffle at a time so if you're doing a top and a bottom bun which I'm gonna try that for my um, steak bagel and a burger um, you see how I like them so there's this one Then we have this one here. Stick the paperwork in there. Camp comes in different colors. This one is the Mini Maker Grill. Also comes with recipes. You could do a burger paninis this is a teal color it looks like oh I can't wait I'll be doing some new videos with these so this looks like a griddle you got the griddle marks but these are mini perfect for one serving I love that color oh my gosh okay and then and all three of these together were $29. Wasn't even that expensive. And I got them at Target. And this one's a white one. This is the Mini Maker Griddle. You're all seeing this. I have my phone turned around the other way. So this is a flat surface. You could do eggs on here, pancakes, chocolate brownie pancakes, homemade pancakes. I'm going to be doing carb, for, you know, sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich. I would use it to make the eggs. Potato pancake hash browns, grilled cheese, English muffin, different recipe ideas in the back too. But I wanted one that had the flat surface, the griddle, which is this griddle one. And the waffle. So there you have it guys. Aren't those cute? Those are adorable. 
And when I was walking around Walmart, I found the My Mini one for $9. So I picked it up. So it's another griddle one, uh, a waffle one. So when you're making a sandwich, you can do you plug in two. And you can do the top and the bottom at the same time. And then I had saw this one originally we, uh, a couple weeks ago or about a week ago and it was ten dollars so I bought that before I re realized about these so now I have three of the waffle ones which is fine because if I'm making one for me and Chris then I have enough to do one sandwich at a time at least with two of these because um, when you make the chaffles, the recipes that I've been coming across, they um, one one batch of the recipe makes the two chaffles. But if you only have one, you can only do one at a time. So now I'll be able to do two and make the sandwich right away. And I could have the egg going. I could put sausage on here, a round sausage patty. Um, you could do pancakes and, and sausage and just plug them all in together, you know, throw a strip, you know, plug them on a strip or something. Because I only have two outlets over here. So I could just grab a strip and put it right there and, and plug them all in. So you follow along because I'm going to be doing videos with all these now. I'm so excited. Between that and my griddler, I'm going to be learning how to make some healthy meals, quick things, Easy cleanup is what I was looking for. These you just wipe down and they are clean. So I'm, I'm trying to do things smarter, not harder. And these are perfect size for one person. So follow me along for more recipes, guys. Here's Jack the cat. Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? Yeah. Yeah. You taking it easy now? Say hi to everybody, Jack. Say hi. So, I have been collecting, um, when I watch videos and stuff, I've been collecting things for low-carb and carb-free. You can I've just got this Anthony's Xylem Husk Powder. They add that into some things. Um, the Anzac's gum. But I'm going to, this whole shelf is going to be reorganized. Um, I, I'm really getting into the reorganizing, so I'm going to be reorganizing this shelf. Um, I, I'm cleaning up a lot. I want to. I want to just clean up all over here. Um, I don't. I have that um, ninja over there, but um, I also here. I'll show you. I have just a big mess because I don't have space. I have no place for my skillet, which I use. Uh, my ninja, I found this at the thrift store for $2.50. I absolutely love it. So I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. But And then I have all that mess over there to clean and organize. And then I really want to put a cover over this. Um, some of these things I'm going to be putting downstairs. I'm going to be cleaning the shelves off downstairs and or um, consolidating our food because... I have a lot of gaps on my shelves that I could just move food over and probably empty one whole shelf. And I'm going to put all my cooking stuff on it down at the bottom of the basement where the first shelf is where I can get to all my cooking gadgets. I mean, I have a couple cast iron. I have my set it and forget it rotisserie, which that'll probably stay up here because I use that. But my bread maker, um, my new wave, that can go downstairs. I hardly use that. And I can make room for the stuff I do use, like my skillet, my my ninja. Um, and then we tried putting covers over this for a door, but it didn't work out. So I I've thought of another way. I just got to go get some more fabric 
and uh, see if that'll work. Just to keep the dust and the cat hair out. Because as you can see, there's cat hair. And it gets all in there because he rubs over here. So, if you notice, there's cat hair all over this because of the cat hair flying. So, it's not good and I don't like that. So, yes, Jack, I'm talking about you. Your cat hair. So, that's some of my goals for the new year. I'm going to start cleaning up and I did purge. I... My son's friend got a new apartment, his first apartment, alone, and I, I gave him some casserole dishes, um, uh, a, an extra crock pot, a toaster, a can opener that I had downstairs. So I am going through things and getting rid of things that I don't need and that I just kind of hoarded. But how do you feel about that, Jack? Huh? I know, exciting, right? <laughs>